Hello and welcome to our Tampanese hub. It's the final round of fixtures for the 2022 season of the AIA Singapore Premier League and Tampanese Rovers host Tanjong Paga United. Let's have a look at the uh, lineups here. We were Tampanese Rovers with uh, two changes from that side who had a, a very, very good 5-3 win over Albrecht Negata. So for Tanjong Paga, well, they lost 3-1 uh, to Lion City Sailors and make one change from that game with Blake Ruchuto uh, coming in for Akari Abdullah, who himself has uh, just kind of recovered from a groin niggle. Yes, Shodai Nishikawa. It's been an entertaining start to this game. Lovely ball through! Oh, he got down well, Blake Rusciuto. That was almost at ground level, and he headed it in. And that's the opening goal. They've been threatening, haven't they, Tanja Paga? A oh, fantastic uh, play from Shura Ishikawa, taking Irwan Shao in a 1v1 situation. Nobody marking Blake Rusciuto. Managed to sneak in between Seyfried Dows, but again, credit to him. Here's Irfan Najib for Tampi's Rovers. Loft set into the box. Oh, that should be tucked in. Yase Hanapi. And again, he comes from the crosses. Yeah. Oh, good, good goal from Tampi's Rovers. Yeah, he got in between the two of them, didn't he? I think Saffron got a little touch on that. But it was enough to put it in the path of Yasir. Still got that hunger, Karol Amri. Mirko Sugic. Oh, that's a great header. He's got the height, he's got the power, and he's got the second goal. Fantastic delivery from Choda Nishikawa. When you're doing the previous corner kick, you could see there was a lot of space in the near post. That's a really well, well, yeah, well worked well, goal. Well, well. Yeah, 12 goals actually for uh, Tantik Sutarno, who's... Right up there, the penalty! has been pointed to the penalty spot. The ball went straight to his arm, his left, or rather right arm, were not in a natural position. He has been good. Five penalties scored this season, Kapitovic. And he makes no mistake, he gets it the right way, Sounds one. And that is goal number 34 for the season. A big sigh of relief for him as well. There was never in doubt. Boris Kovitovic will score his 34th goal. So that's a lovely ball. Out to Zerdi Mamenovic. Slips it through. Is he onside? Is that a penalty? It is. Oh. Kovitovic is brought down. Oh. I mean, Farid was in front of Boris Kovitovic, but again, he's late. Uh, he kicked Boris very, very clearly. Okay. Left side of the goalkeeper. Again? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, didn't even move, Zafan. That is brilliant from Boris Kapitovic. And for the first time in this match, Tampanis Rovers have gone in front. Tyrone Nizam's done well. He's done really well. He is a natural number nine, and boy, has he proved that in spades with that shot. It's an excellent goal. But then again, what matters is now Tanjung Baga is three, Tampanese is three now. What a game you are having. Now Fidals on the turn. They're surely going to put it in. That will count. It's good, and it's a late goal here. Joel Chu. Surely has the winner for Tampanese Rovers right at the end. And give credit to, to Boris here. He was right at the end trying to block or maybe trying to, to steal the goal from. I wonder if he tried to get yeah, a touch yeah, on that. 4 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <For> 3. <laughs> Unbelievable, Unbelievable game. Unbelievable game. Really mature, good timing from in front of you. Wow. It's not for the first time we're seeing two benches getting upset. Hazrin Jailani is uh, reacting to something, might be in the crowd. Uh, it's a really sad way to end this game, and probably the right call by, by Taki yeah, to call yeah, and enter yeah, proceedings. Yeah, yeah. The final score at our Tampanese hub, it's Tampanese Rovers 4, Tanjung Paga United 3.